Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Paladin guide. We will just do a quick overview since uh, not much has changed and a lot has changed uh, in the same way. So basically, they removed our uh, sheet of light playstyle that we had had that we figured out uh, without any guides and shit. We basically figured it out alone and it was to be honest a big deal considering this is something called season of discovery and we discovered some great interactions with uh, a lot of spells and stuff seal of the crusader for example uh, and we talked about it before so for now it will just be said that it's over. There is no more attack power scaling with uh, this rune because Sheet of Light now only works with damaging spells. So basically, your healing will not gain any bonus like it did before. Before we used to pop consumables that gave us strength, that gave us uh, melee attack power. And we popped Seal of the Crusader because it gave us a bunch of melee attack power. So... We are at the same spot where we hit our rabbits and bears uh, in front of Iron Forge, and we will not be doing that as much anymore. So now you, your playstyle will revolve mostly around Holy Shock and regular healing spells, your Flash of Lights, your healing waves, uh, he Holy Lights, and your new spell. Uh, divine light this one is really important uh, as you can see it heals a friendly target target for a shitload of healing but this is the important part 56 percent of any excess healing on the target is converted into an absorption shield that lasts for 15 seconds multiple casts uh, do not accumulate this shield and Divine Light also benefits from all talents and effects that trigger from uh, Holy Light. So basically, whatever you have in talents or anywhere that improves your Holy Light, uh, it will improve your uh, Divine Light. So basically, if you use Light's Grace, uh, as you will see now, Light's Grace, it reduces your cast time of your Holy Light by half a second. As you can see, it will also reduce the Divine Light. Now, as you can see, Divine Light is a huge heal. 3.6k. My regular heal, not crit. And this one, even with crit, is not close to that. So, when you, for example, pop the Divine Favor, it will work on divine uh, light as well and you will get this huge absorb 2.7k that's like the most important thing in this phase i would say uh the interaction between those spells and the absorption shield because you can do this uh before the fight you can pop this like on pull on the tanks if you have one tank and the other if you cast it on one the one with the beacon will gain this shield too uh i'm gonna try to find some uh, fights to show you that uh, in molten core that we tried the other room that we work around a lot is infusion of light and yeah sorry i'm just recording this live like i'm not gonna edit anything or do any production and shit, I'll just want to give it to you raw. <laughs> Infusion of Light uh, is the rune that works with Holy Shock, and now we'll be using Holy Shock a lot because it has a really good rune. This will increase the damage and healing done by your Holy Shock by 50%. It will reduce the cooldown to 6 seconds, and your crit strikes will reset the cooldown. And of course, uh, region, uh, region back the mana you spend. 
So basically you need to have the mana to cast it, but if you crit, you will get it back. As you can see now, this is not a crit, but still the cooldown is really low. Like 6 seconds is nothing, and it heals pretty okay. I mean, basically like a, a, a Flash of Light, it's even better than Flash of Light, just a lot more expensive. It's 1.5k crit. And you see it can happen that you, like especially with all the world buffs and, and, and consumables and shit, it will happen that you get like 10 in a row crits. And you just spam the raid, you spam the raid with it. Uh, and in the same time, it transfers to the target of the beacon of light. So it basically happens like 10 times in a row sometimes. And it will, of course, when you crit, it will leave this uh, heal over time as well. Like every spell will. So your gameplay will revolve around pink holy shocks uh, casting maybe in holy light to just proc the lights grace but i didn't use it that much like i mostly used it with divine light anyway and you have to understand that divine light is expensive as fuck so you will need to have a bunch of mana right now i have my flask from the raid uh, so it's a lot easier <laughs> But yeah, mana is not like before. You will really have issues with mana if you don't have consumables and buffs. So I would highly recommend recommend you to have a bunch of runes and a bunch of mana pots, depending on what content you do. But yeah, it's not like before. Mana region is not uh, something that's good like before. Uh, there were some nerfs to mana region overall. What is this guy doing? Let's help him. And yeah, of course, this one, the holy shock is really good for PvP as well. Because when you get like 10 crits in a row, you basically just spam them in someone's face and it's GG. I had people attacking me while farming. It was <laughs> a joke. So overall, I, I'm pretty happy with how Paladins turned out because you can do a lot more stuff. You can be offensive. You can switch a few runes and be like a, a proper god for AOE farming. Like I tried a bit uh, AOE farming and it was really good. You just switch a few runes and you're good to go. You get... Instead of Beacon, you get Crusader Strike, and you get this rune, uh, Limbram of C Consecrated. Your Crusader Strike spell reduces the cost of your next Consecration, so basically when you cast this and you get mana, you cast um, Consecration for like a joke amount of mana, and it heals you because of this rune. Also, Hallowed Ground is basically a Consecration now heals for 200% of Consecration damage. So if you're in melee group, you will pop this all the time. Uh, because in melee group it will be useful, in range not that much. But you won't be that much uh, in groups with melee to be honest because everyone wants to be in melee if you have like feral druid and uh, melee dps you will not have a priority there for sure so keep that in mind but you will find like stacked fights where you have everyone around you 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 can use it then uh fanaticism is whatever you know you know about that now we have a hand of sacrifice instead of the aoe reduction we have a tank cooldown this is nice, but pay attention to it because you can get raped with this if you pop it on a tank and they get hit for a trillion, you will die. So use this with like Divine Shield uh, with Bubble. It will be <laughs> safe. So yeah, just be aware that you can die from this easily. 
Take your shield, of course. Light is grace, of course. Beacon. Uh, new runes for fingers. You will probably go with holy speci specialization and whatever weapon you're using. I don't, didn't even bother, so I just took the defense specialization. Divine Light, we already talked about. Uh, let's go through gear. This is Soul Forge, is tier 1. Tier 0 0.5, sorry. So you will be using this as a pre raid bis. If you. Well, there's a huge question that you need to figure out, that you need to finish. So keep in mind that you will lose. A bunch of time on doing that. Uh, other pieces like this is from uh, Rammstein in Skars, what's it called? Uh, fucking undead part of Stratholme. Uh, there are some others, but this one is uh, really nice. Hide of the Wild, you will craft this because this is like your best slot for the entire phase. So do get this. Uh, you can, for enchants, you will go with fire resistance from the Hydraxian Water Lords if you're attempting any uh, heat level 2 or heat level 3 content. For heat level 3, I won't go through much because it requires a bunch of fire resist, so it, it will be online. You will probably find some like fire resist items that you can get, but for now, I'll just go through this. For heat level 2. Heat level 2 requires to have 96. And because you have aura that gives you 60, you basically need like below 40 to, to uh, be okay. So you can get this, for example, wildfire cape that gives 20 fire resist, enchant this enchant uh, from water lords, and you will have 40 fire resist on one item. Um, other options, yeah, this is okay. Aura Stone Hammer is from Molten Core, obviously. Uh, this is your best in slot for uh, this phase. Uh, Molten Core and Onyxia and World Bosses, this is the best weapon you can get. But before raid, uh, this is the pre raid bis Goblin Gear Grinder. You can buy it for 50 Undermine Reels from the trader in. Uh, Booty Bay. Uh, this shield is pre raid beast from the old raid. I got it literally on level 60. Like, I was going to Sunken Temple even at level 60 to get this shield because there is nothing better. Uh, Libram of Divinity. Uh, this is from Solomon's. You can argue that you can get some other Librams, I guess, since Flesh of Light is not as beneficial as before, but we still use it a lot. Like, Flesh of Light is still a fast heal, and you will use it on the tank with Sacred Shield to proc this uh, crit and hot from uh, Flesh of Light. So, yeah, it will still be used. Lowbringer. Lowbringer is... Uh, the tier 1 set, so I will not talk much about that. It's just a nice set because it gives fire resist, so it will be easier for you to go into raids uh, with higher heat level. For enchants, you will do healing spell 24 on bracers, you will do 22 intellect on weapon, you will do law of nature, that's the new enchant. Uh, for shield, it will give you like 55 healing. It's huge. Shoulders, you will do 18 healing spells from Zandalar. What's it called? The last trade, Sunken Temple Enchant. Uh, for head, you will go Intellect 8, as well as legs. That's uh, Libram of uh, what's it called? I'm not sure. We will check it online. For chest, you go all stats and movement speed on boots. And that's it. This one is also your best in slot for the phase. You will probably go and farm it in uh, low, lower Black, Black Rock Spire. 
I was lucky getting this, to be honest. I was just doing a quest and uh, it dropped. So I spent like one run in, in the fucking instance. This is uh, something that you need to get as well. Uh, it's really good. It's uh, from a quest, so it's not hard. It's quest in from Tyrion Fordring in... Uh, where, is, where is it? Eastern Plaguelands over here. Like... You will have, if you're using Samadon, you will have a quest, uh, exclamation mark here, and you just go and finish all the quests here, and he will reward you at the end with this, with the choice of items, and you will choose this. Uh, Bloodlight Reverence is from Strengthon Vale PvP, it's really good still. Uh, Briar would read this from Jed in uh let's call ubrs uh for fire resist you can use this because this is really nice from Gromer gromergan if you still have it i left it since it had fire resist i had a feeling that it will be useful so i just left it there uh for fire resist as well you can use uh if you don't have nothing you can use the drake fire amulet from onyxia prequest and some other items, but as you can see, I'm already on 100 with uh, with the aura. So this is basically already good for uh, heat level two. So yeah, now we will wait to get some set pieces from Lowbringer, and it will give us a lot more uh, items. Uh, fire resist story. For talent builds now, it's you, we removed everything from Divine Strength and from these uh, Seal of Crusader and shit. Vindication, I was really looking forward to it because this would be insane for that build. Like, I'm really sorry it didn't survive. I would love to see Sheet of Light with Vindication, that would be insane. But anyway, we just take these, like, for quality of life and this is for your movement speed protection you just take these two because mm, it's beneficial you will pop these on your casters most of the time like mages shadow priests warlocks whatever uh to protect them from taking aggro for holy you take intellect spiritual focus now you take uh, improved lay on hands healing light of course illumination Blessing of Wisdom, Divine Favor, Lasting Judgment, Jewel, mm, yeah, not, don't need three, two is okay, because it refreshes, and with a new set bonus of Lowbringer, you will want to uh, have your judgments, either Light or Wisdom, on the target, all the time, because, it, because it's... Uh, yeah, Seal of Light will proc like 70% more than before, and it will heal or return mana to the entire raid more than before. Okay, so what else? Yeah, I'm gonna show some footage and some logs or whatever we have. Yeah, we can go through. As you can see now, uh, before we really had a different guide from everyone else, but right now, like, shit is really simple, so you, you, you can't really miss anything. It's just a classic healing class. So let's just go through uh, consumables. You will... Let's see, yeah, consumables, flask, of course, nightfin soup, you can, well, I would go with intellect, I think there is, Ramsey, what's it called, it should be here, it should be here, but it's not, yeah, here it is, Rantam Tuber, surprise, it will give you intellect, and because you scale so well with intellect, and a lot of the stuff gives you like percentage of intellect 
I think this one will be a lot better. Elixir, this one shouldn't be here because it doesn't exist yet. It will be released with Zul Group. A potion, of course, Major Mana Potion, Demonic Rune, and uh, Dark Rune. This Dark Rune you can buy, and if you find it for cheap, just buy a ton of it. Buy millions of it, you will be using it a lot. Uh, on cooldown, basically, Elixir of Fortitude, Ramzina, Black Label, these two. Cerebral Cortex Compound, you want this as well, it gives you 25 intellect. You will get this by doing quests uh, here. Uh, there, there will be like, yeah, these are the quest givers. So you get these Vulture Gizzards, and the quest is called Infallible Mind or whatever. You will get like... 10 of these Bustle's Brains and 2 of Vulture Gizzards. You can buy them on auction house, you don't have to farm it. And you deliver it, you can only carry one of these, so keep that in mind. You can drink one and then bring another. But if you drink it, you will probably get killed while you go to the raid, depending on how your raid is set up. So keep that keep that in mind. Brilliant wizard world it doesn't exist yet. It's also released with Zul Group, so you will just take a regular wizard oil. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let me see some. Videos, can we use something? Pum, 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 pum. Okay, yeah. we'll just generating boots and potion on that one. Mute this, maybe. I don't know if you can do a stone and we'll get the uh, something going. Yeah, just lower the shit down. Reputation. The, the, the patrols are respawning within, uh, oh, what it can be, 10 or 15 minutes timer. I just want to find some. Fight with uh, Divine Shield. No, that's it called Divine Light that we did. Oh no, it's not Gar. <sighs> yeah, I guess this should be it. Oh, Golemag, Golemag. Man, it's it skips so fast this shit. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some combat shit. And you see, like, I'm still using Flash of Light, Divine Light, Holy Shock, everything. It's especially on Thresh, you need to be a little more, a little more faster and mana conservative because. These trash packs are fucking retarded, man. And they respawn really quickly. For Molten Core, you really need to keep in mind that they fucked up some respawn timers. I'm not sure if that will be fixed. But they, like, respawn. In the middle of the boss fight, we had the trash respawning be below our legs. It was fucking insane. Also, dispelling is important. Don't be a healing whore and just dispel. It will help everyone. It will help your rage and yourself because you will 
lose a lot of people. Yeah, you need Hydraxian water loads reputation. <laughs> now I'm checking it. I was late with that shit, so I can dose, but lucky my guild is good and better than me in that regard. Uh, this is a uh, and I said on that you'd probably want to check out. Let me show it to you. It's called OPI or whatever. It's O P E I, whatever. And you can make a new ring and customize it. And I made a consumables ring. And you press this button, add the new slice. It will give you like all this shit you can choose from. You choose items and you choose your consumables basically and then you bind it to the ring bind it to the key what you want mine is an alt shift q because i have too much shit bound and it will give you this little ui that you can like scroll and run through and it, it will just keep adding shit to your screen you don't like it's a lot better than some other uh, other add-ons so it will like make a huge ring if you add a huge number of consumables. It also works with uh, like professions, with uh, marks, with shit, and it's really nice. Well, let's get back to this shit. <clears throat> I'm just popping my consumables. I'm not sure if we're using our world buff here i'm not sure to be honest and this is the heat level one like the easiest because we did two but we had some people not having the enough uh, fire resist so we got raped i mean they got raped so we just switched and it was like what one half Hall past 1 a.m. So we didn't want to stay here for seven days since we just wanted to finish the raid. And we switched to this uh, easy one. And you see me popping lights, uh, what's it called? The divine light, you see on the interface, the absorb. I made this in LUI, like just to see the seconds and when it will run out, and you will see how it works. Like, and now I just start spamming divine lights because mana is really not an issue when you have a flask and world buffs and everything and of course consumables so i just pump uh everything on melee dps i think i just literally use divine light here yeah and you see my mana is not really going that low especially since when you crit it's gg I ended with 1.2k, that's fucking pretty good. Uh, I'm needing everything, of course, because I'm distributing the loot. Don't think that I'm gonna be ninjaing shit. Okay, let's end that. Let's go check some. Logs, oh, yeah, these are for from level one, and this is that Golemaga. I'm actually number one at the moment, and you will see that it's really just just the shield from uh divine light, like literally just the shield. So basically, all of this is over healing. All of this is you preemptively thinking who will take damage and casting it before they take damage. And you get them this huge shield that will absorb the incoming damage. So it's something like a priest from retail, like you, you preemptively pop stuff 
and when they take damage it will be counted as healing so on this fight i really didn't do anything else basically uh let's see some other shit man come on uh here this one where i did terribly let's see what happened here I did terribly because this fight has a silence mechanic and I got silenced like two times for eight seconds and basically good game. Again, most of the shit is absorb, sacred shield even, holy shock, divine light. It's, I don't know, really mostly it absorbs. Uh, Baron Geddon. Baron get on. Divine Light Absorb first again. Sacred Shield high. Fire Protection, of course, you need to eat those all the time. Beacon of Light, Flesh of Light. Even Consecration, because we had some stacking to do. Judgment of Light. This will be higher as the phase goes up. And you need to be hitting the boss if you can for mana and health region. If you need it, of course. But I found out pretty fast that we really do need mana region. The fight that I saw that I showed you, it's it was the uh heat level one, so it's really fucking easy. Uh let's see. Yeah, this one is without world buffs, but on heat level 2. So, it will require a lot more mana than level 1. It takes some more, it takes some more time and... This is the first boss, so I didn't even... Try using divine lights on these uh, that much. I figured it out like mid run. Well, not mid run. I mean, I figured it out earlier, but I thought it will be impossible to conserve mana with spamming that expensive shit that much. So I think I just popped it on a tank one or few two times, and that's it. Come on, bro, I don't want to skip. If I skip, I skip too much because the fucking video is seven years long. So I just want to give you real time. <laughs> yeah, fucking shit, bro. Keeps for a minute, man. Fuck that. Let's go to this one. Same shit. Uh, on this fight, since it's it fears, you can see that I popped a rune to remove fear on feet. And you see the damage, like, it's insane. I think uh, this guy had, both of these guys didn't have, like, enough fire resist. Because if you don't have enough fire resist, that 96, you die instantly from any fire damage, and that's it. Like, if there is no brainstorming it, you just need to have fucking fire resist. That's it. Other than that, it's not that hard, to be honest. You just do your mechanics and do your healing and shit. So here I'm using all of the spells. Flash of light, divine light, holy shocks.
do a light and it's done not a good example i still had uh, mana here Yeah, we wiped here. So you really need fire resist. Any fire damage that you get, it's GG. Gehenas. Yeah, I'm good with mana even here. So I guess you can spam mostly the huge heals. This one raped us, I think. Anyway, no need to go through all of this shit. Just wanted to show you uh, the difference between phase three phase four and to give you some idea of what to expect in phase four and in molten core i'll probably do a guide for molten core i mean it's basically the same if you played season of mastery it's the same as season of mastery with the addition of the fire fire resist requirement and uh, it shouldn't be too hard when you have the fire resist that you need. And yeah, that's it, boys. We will be back soon with a new shit. Thank you. See you around.